Have you ever wondered what it's like to render with two RTX cards and a desktop computer? In today's video, we're going to see if there's any performance loss when you're rendering with two RTX 3070s and a desktop versus a workstation computer. Hi everyone, I'm Mike from the Media Man Studio Services, and on our channel we like to bridge that gap between the creative content and the technical requirements. Today's technical requirement is, it's actually a viewer question. So we have a viewer called Laughing Man, and he's asked when you're using two RTX 3000 series cards with a chipset like the B550s and the X570s and the Z590s, and you're using two GPUs and a desktop machine, does it actually reduce the performance? And he wanted to know if it actually takes the 16X lane or PCIe lane and split that into two 8X. So today we're going to do some tests and see if there's any performance loss. So first let me explain how a desktop system works versus like a workstation computer. So a desktop has a limited amount of PCIe lanes, and that is kind of dictated by the CPU. The system I'm running here is a Ryzen 5900X, and it has 24 PCIe lanes. So basically, if you're using a graphic card, which uses 16X or 16 of those lanes, and maybe an M.2 drive or an NVMe drive, there's 20 lanes right there. For instance, in this machine, I have two M.2 and usually only have one GPU. There's 24 lanes of PCIe used up. So there are other PCIe slots in your computer, and they're usually connected to a chipset and not directly communicating with the CPU. And that's usually a Gen 3 chipset, so that communication path is from the PCIe bus over to the chipset and then up to the CPU. And it's not the fastest transfer path that you can use. When using things like GPUs, you want to communicate directly with the CPU. So the big limitation there is the 24 lanes of PCIe communication directly with the CPU. If you're using a workstation, for instance, like a Threadripper Pro, that has 128 lanes of PCIe connectivity, each graphic card you plug in is using the full 16x bandwidth. But when you're using a desktop, it has to split that bandwidth between multiple slots. So for instance, I've plugged in two GPUs, two RTX 3070s into this machine, and if I use just one, it's going to use 16x. If I use two, it's actually gonna reduce the speed of the first slot down to 8x, and then have 8x for the second slot. So the question is, is, does that reduce performance when you're doing stuff like rendering? So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to compare a desktop versus a workstation. So I have my, again, Ryzen 5900X. It's got 32 gigs of 3200 megahertz RAM, and I have a Threadripper Pro that's 16 cores and has the same 32 gigs of 3200 megahertz RAM. So it's not really apples to apples, but it's a very close comparison. So we're going to run some benchmarks, and the first one that I have open here is the V-Ray benchmark. So I'm just going to start that benchmark going so that we can see how long it takes or what our score is when we're done. We're also going to do some tests in Octane, as well as we'll run a scene in Maya using a Redshift, and then see if there's any reduction in time or reduction in performance. So our first test is completed, and we're using the V-Ray GPU CUDA test, the benchmark that you can download off the uh, V-Ray website and our score is 2,294. Now, when I was uh, doing the same test on the workstation, I had a score of 2,567. So there is some reduction in performance on this test. So let's switch over and we'll do the RT GPU test, and we'll see if there's any reduction on that one as well. So our second test is completed, and this is the V-Ray GPU RTX. So again, this is the 5900X Ryzen chip, and we had a score of 3,521. So on the workstation, our score was 3,583. So they are actually very close. So I thought we'd check out the V-Ray benchmark as well. So a V-Ray benchmark is not interactive. It just renders out in a command line and then gives you an image. And at the bottom here, it tells you how long it is. And on this one, it was 2 minutes and 16 seconds. So on the workstation computer, it was 2 minutes and 12 seconds. So it was only a 4 second difference. And I'd say that's within a margin of error. So another really good useful tool when you're doing GPU benchmarking is the Octane Bench. So on the Ryzen chip, we had 811 was our score. And when we're using the workstation, we had 822. So there was a slight reduction in performance, but it's still fairly close. So one of the other things I like to do when I'm actually checking out the performance of different GPUs is not always trust just the benchmarking tools that come from the different software developers. I like to download a scene off the internet, something that's going to be more production you know, worthy or stress out the GPUs a little bit more. So I've downloaded this attic scene and I'll leave a link in the comments section below for anybody that wants to try it out. So the first time I rendered this out on the desktop, it rendered out in eight minutes and two seconds. When I rendered it out on the workstation machine, it rendered out in seven minutes and 15 seconds. 
So there is quite a bit of reduction in performance there when rendering on 16x or two GPUs on 16x and two GPUs on 8x, but it's still not that much. So I think we've come to a pretty definitive answer to this video. So yes, there is a reduction in performance, but across all the tests I did, it wasn't even 10% at the most. For the longest render I did, like the Attic, it was about uh, eight, eight to 10% reduction. But in the other tests I did, like the Octane and the uh, V-Ray benchmarks, it was still pretty close. So yes, using 16X and two lanes is much better, but if you only have a desktop machine, you can stick a second GPU in. And for instance, when you're rendering with two RTX 3070s, both of these GPUs outperformed one RTX 3090 in this attic scene by quite a bit, by about 30%. So depending on what your budget is, maybe you don't need all that VRAM that's supplied in a GPU like an RTX 3090, and you can afford maybe two of the smaller GPUs like the RTX 3070s. The RTX 3070s work really well as long as you don't need a lot of VRAM to be rendering out your scene. So before I go, put in the comment section below, if you're using two GPUs, what system are you using it on? There's also a link to all of the benchmarks that I used as well as the attic scene in the comments below. So that about wraps it up for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, hit the notification so you can be notified when I release new videos. Visit the Discord chat server. There's a link in the comments section below. I really enjoyed doing this video for you and I'll see you in the next one.